This is your marketplace. Your party perfect balloons are actually an environmental bust. Sure, balloons are easy on the eyes, and according to some ads, they seem easy to recycle and are even good for the environment, too. Really? It's time to burst your balloons and kill the buzz. The first toy balloons were popularized in the 1930s. Fast forward through history, they're everywhere. The Guinness Book of World Records has just been broken in Cleveland. The biggest tradition is releasing the balloons. Organizers argue these events are environmentally safe because latex is biodegradable. Several balloon companies point to this industry-funded 30-year-old study that suggests balloons can break down at the same rate as an oak leaf. So although latex, the material itself, is technically compostable, uh, the question is, can we compost it in our existing systems that we have in Canada? And the, to the best of my knowledge, the answer is no. And get this, most balloons made today are full of plasticizers and additives that can compromise their ability to break down. To the best of my knowledge, it's actually treated as a contaminant. Even after months in an industrial compost facility, these balloons had barely changed. And check out this experiment from the Indy Star. Today we are playing a citizen scientist uh, with an experiment I started almost a year ago. So these are two balloons that I, I submerged in salt water, um, which is at the salinity of the ocean. They pretty much look the same. It's why rubber balloons don't belong in your compost bin, and they don't belong in your blue box either. And if you're thinking those Insta-worthy foil options are more environmentally friendly, think again. They're what we call multi-resin or multi-composite plastics, which also are not recyclable in our existing system. So where do your balloons end up? Landfill, landfill, landfill. And Canadian law says if a product is destined for landfill, it can't be advertised as biodegradable. And it's the balloons that don't get properly disposed of that can cause the biggest problem. I started to notice that there were just dozens of balloons washed up on the shoreline every day. So I started counting them. From that, we were able to calculate a projected annual number of balloons washing up on the shore around 950,000 on Lake Erie alone. Marine life, especially sea turtles, often mistake balloons for jellyfish and other food sources. Look at this guy, totally wrapped in a balloon. Even the Ontario SPCA warns that if pets ingest discarded balloons, it might require surgery. And it's not just animals. Power outages affecting tens of thousands of Canadians have been linked to foil balloons getting caught in power lines, which can also spark and may lead to wildfires. We've learned the cause of that big grass fire in San Jose today. It was sparked by metallic mylar balloons. Balloon releases are still popular around the world, like this release in China in June 2021. But there are calls to put an end to them, and they're getting louder. There's a petition to ban balloon releases in this country. Similar bans are already in place in some U.S. states, as well as some counties in England and Australia. We talked to the Balloon Council, who speaks for the industry. They agree balloons should not be released, but they argue mass releases do not constitute a serious litter or ecological problem. So if your kids love chasing balloons, try blowing bubbles at your next party instead. If you want to watch something pretty float through the sky, kites are a great option. And for decor, tissue paper balls are affordable and eco-friendly. Or really blow away your guests and use florals. And why not consider planting a tree to mark a milestone instead? And if you just can't let go of the idea of balloons, make sure you weigh them down. And when you're done with them, cut them up and dispose of them properly.